Yes, I had some reservations that came out of committee. My biggest reservation is the fact that this is tied to COVID-19 funding. Um, this is a uh, unprecedented time in our lives and I don't feel like, you know, using the words the, for crowd control is is proper term of why we need drones. Uh, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna babysit how many people are at a park or in your backyard. Um, however, agriculture, from my standpoint, agriculture is the, has been one of the driving leaders in the drone technology uh, and some of the capabilities that they have today. Um, and we use those on a routine basis and have friends that use them, you know, the proper way. And that's what I hope that the Sheriff's Department does with them if they do receive them. Um, I agree that, you know, that, that they can be infringed, they, people rights can be infringed on very easily if they're used in the wrong ways. Um, and uh, I hate that the funding for these is coming in a time that is tied to something that is uh, created lots of turmoil in lots of people's lives at this time. Um, but I do feel that I will support uh, purchasing the drones if, they, if the grant is uh, awarded uh, for the proper reasons of life safety, uh, you know, with the FLIR technology and heat imaging, you can find people a lot quicker than getting a helicopter up. I mean, they do have their place and I hope that's the reason why they're used, so. You know, I, I would um, just say that this is, I think Cole used these words a minute ago and I went, they were good ones. This is unfortunate timing. I mean, you, you bring it up something that's a tad bit controversial, that's potentially highly invasive in a time when we've had basic constitutional rights stripped from us. And I'm proud that Spartanburg County has not been a party to any of that in what we've done. But at the same time, I think it just makes me nervous as heck when I think of all the things that, you know, not allowing free assembly to practice our, our religious faith is kind of amazing. And it's hard to believe that that's going on in this country, in this state, in this town right now. And, you know, uh, I just, I'm a little bit leery of the government wanting any more access to my private life right this minute. So Jack. Uh, 